In Doom, you usually use the space key to select a command to execute. And there are two possibilities. A key press immediately after the space key can execute a command right away, or it can provide a reduced set of commands to choose from. In this sense, some key presses can be chained. So let's see it in practice. Last time I told you about file selection. So you press space F followed by dot. And then you can uh, select a file. But there is a shortcut for that. Instead of doing three keystrokes, you can do just two. And if you type space dot, it's the same effect. So right after the space, you're pressing the dot and it executes the command. Let's just type space. And now the blue commands are the ones that are being that will be executed right away. And the purple ones are the ones that can be chained. So for example, if I type B, it now shows me a, a selection, a reduced set of commands to, to choose from. Opening file is important, but it's even more important to work in a context, in the context of projects. So how to manage projects in, in Doom and in Emacs? There is a package called Projectile. It's the most popular package uh, for uh, project management in, in Emacs, and it comes automatically built in with uh, Doom. So let's see how we can use that. Let's go back to Emacs. And now we need to tell Projectile to uh, index our projects. So there's a comment for that, which is called Projectile Discover in directory. And now we can select a project which contains all of our projects. And once I hit enter, project I will index those directories. And you may ask how it will know which directories are projects and which are not. Project I can guess if a directory is a project or not based on its content. So it quickly analyzes the content of a given directory. And if there is a .git directory or any other um, source control management directory, or if there is a, if the project structure is the one created by Lane or Maven or or Scala or or Ruby project, it will automatically uh, treat this directory as a project and it will it will add it to the index. If you have just an empty directory and you want to treat it as a project, you can just put an empty projectile file in it. And this way, once you execute the, the command to discover project discover, it will uh, this directory will be also added. So now I can type space pp, and uh, it it shows me all the, the projects it discovered inside the code uh, directory. So for example, I can go to a project called email app, a Flutter project I'm working on. And now I can select a, a file from within that project. So if I want to select another file in that project, I can just type space twice and I can select another, like a manager or something of that sort. So it's pretty handy. But managing those projects like that and, and using a command to, to do it, it's a bit tedious. So it'd be nice to specify the directories with the projects in the configuration. First of all, let's go quickly to the configuration files. And there is a shortcut, there is a special command for that in Doom. So if I press space F and P, which is to find files in private configuration, I have now the, the files of my private config. So the files that are inside the .doomd directory. So let's open the, the first file, which is init el. And this is the, the Doom file. So you have the, all the modules that are enabled and you can add new ones here or you can disable the ones that you are not using as I did with, with some of them. The second file is um, the config, which is the actual configuration for Doom. Here I have many configuration options already uh, set. 
but the one we are interested in right now is the projectile project search path. So here we can specify all the directories that should be searched by projectile to find projects. So as you can see, I've already added the code and I have only one directory of projects. But if you have many, you can add other uh, directories uh, here. And now you can just use projectile discover and there's another command called in search path and it will, once this variable is set, it will index the directories from that directory or directories. Or you can just restart your Emacs and it will be automatically done at the, at the startup. So now I can quickly select a project so I can go back to my email app to any other file or I can just go to another let's say cool phone it's it's an open source project I'm working on right now it's a JavaScript project and I can just open a file here like a test file so I can quickly switch between projects and once I'm in a project I can quickly switch between files by tapping space two times like so it's nice but it'd be nicer to, to also see this file and uh, visually where it is in the, the file structure. It'd be nice to have a kind of a, a file explorer to see where it's located. And luckily, Doom comes with a package called Trimax, which is just that. So it provides a file explorer view. So you can just type space O, a mnemonic for open, and then P. And then you can see uh, all the the directory structure of that project and then it opens it highlights the currently open file so for example if I go to another file let's say um, let's say server and I open the Trimax the file explorer it will select this file here like so lastly if you're working on a project and you need command line to do some quick, like ins to install the, the dependencies or to do some other stuff in the context of that project. So instead of switching between the terminal and Emacs, you can open your shell directly within Emacs. You can do that by typing space O, open again, and E for, for the E shell. And now I can see all my files and I can execute some commands like npm install or any other file. If I type exit and back into inside my project, I can quickly uh, switch between shell and the, the file. If you open your shell, it doesn't have to be full screen. You can just type space O and uppercase E and it will just pop up a small window and you can quickly uh, do something here and then close that. To finish off, let me show you two more file related commands that I use pretty often. The first one is space fr for recent. So it's a list of recent files I opened like overall in all projects. I can quickly find what I need. And the second one is space f uppercase r, which is the recently visited files in the context of that particular project I'm in. That's it for today. Till the next time and may the Emacs force be with you.